There's another context in which we uh, deal with matrices and reduction. Um, maybe the most pervasive and, and abstract and important uh, application of this idea. So let's just first of all do something that's not very useful. Okay? Take this system here and I can rewrite this system as a matrix equation. The matrix x1 plus 2x2 4x1 plus 8x2 equals the column matrix 4, 24. Because this equality again means, and we saw this just in, in, in a very recent clip, that this equals this, and that's just our first equation. And then this has to equal this, and that's just our second equation. In order for this equality to hold, these two equations then have to hold. So this is just a shorthand way, perhaps, of writing this. I don't know if it's all that much shorter. Okay, well, there's another way this could be written. Okay, let's say I take uh, x1, 4x1, and add it, the column, uh, the, to the column 2x2, 8x2. Okay? And set that equal to 4, 24. Is that saying the same thing? Well, yeah, it is, because if I add this to this, I add the first element to the first element, which gives me x1 plus 2x2. That's just what I had here. And the second uh, element in the column time plus the second element in the column, that's going to be the second element here. So that this sum equals this, just by the nature of matrix addition. Okay? So that this could be written as a vector equation, v1 plus v2 equals w, where v1 is this vector, v2 is this vector, and w is this vector. Now this can be made into something useful, but doing just this is not very useful. We're going to do it in a slightly different way. Okay? So, very useful. Okay? If I write c1 times the column vector 1, 4, plus c2 times the column vector 2, 8, and set that equal to 4, 24, well then, <coughs> in the first place, the form of this equation <coughs> is c1 times a column vector v1 plus c2 times a column vector v2 equals a column vector w. It's a vector equation if you regard these columns as representing vectors. And these vectors can actually be represented in a two-dimensional coordinate system, and I'll show you that in a minute after we work this out. <coughs> so, um, if we want to ask the question, are there multiples of the vectors 1, 4, and 2, 8 that add up to the vector 4, 24? Okay, well, I mean, this is a multiple of the vector 1, 4. This is a multiple of the vector 2, 8. Okay, and this is a statement that these multiples add up to this vector 4, 24. Now, this is a matrix equation. Okay. It could be transferred, translated into a system of equations into unknowns. The unknowns would be C1 and C2 because they're the only numbers here that aren't known. Okay, well, this equation then is of the form C1, V1 plus C2, V2 equals W. And again, uh, the question of are there multiples of these vectors that add up to this becomes, can we find values of C1 and C2 to make this equation true? Okay, well, let's go ahead and write down uh, this equation again. C1 times the vector V1, 1, 4, C2, V2, where V2 is 2, 8, equals W vector, W vector being 4, 24. Well, if we multiply the C1 through here, we get C1 times 1 and C1 times 4, which gives us 4 C1. And then C2 times 2 is 2 C2. C2 times 8 is 8 C2. And that should equal 4 24. Now, if we notice that the second element in each column is equal to the four times the first element in each column. But over here, the second element is equal to six times the first element. Well, we can't add two 
matrices where the second element is four times the first in both to get a matrix where the second element is six times the first. So right there is kind of a hint of the fact that this isn't going to be possible. It shouldn't be too surprising because these numbers came from a system to which there's no solution. Okay, well, if we go one step further, we get C1 plus 2C2, because we can just add the first elements, 4C1 plus 8C2 equals 424. And, of course, we can write this down as this equal to this, one equation, this equal to this, another equation. Don't want to do that. I want to bring this to the point of a matrix equation. Okay, well this then becomes the matrix equation 1, 2, 4, 8 multiplied by the column vector C1, C2 equals 4, 24. So this question, can we combine the vector V1 and V2 as we define them here? V1 equal to this, V2 equal to this, and maybe I should note that this is our V1, and this is our V2, and this is our W vector. Okay? If we take this question, can we find C1 and C2 to make this so? We can write that as this equation, and we can, in a couple of steps, bring this to a matrix equation, which is of the form yeah, we don't use B here, we'll use W. This is the same form as an AX equals B, I'm just using different letters, and it's solvable if A inverse exists, then our C vector would be equal A inverse W. And the answer to this question, since the C vector is just C1, C2, the answer to this question would be yes. If A inverse doesn't exist, the answer is going to be no. There's no solution to the system. Not a unique solution to the system. Okay? Um, so, we answer this question, and yes, if the A inverse matrix, and we could say A is the uh, matrix 1, 2, 4, 8, is invertible. Okay? Yeah, we don't have to use invertible. We could say non-singular. Okay? Uh, yeah. Matrix A reduces to the identity, etc. However, it ain't so it ain't. Now by it ain't I mean the matrix is not invertible. It's not non-singular, it's singular. So it ain't invertible. So it ain't possible. So let's just complete this with the word possible so we have some way of identifying our ain'ts. But you get the idea.